pretty. Inshore only day. That was a big wave. Here we go. Four. Little ones. Only little ones on the inside. I like how it feels like I'm offshore, but I'm actually shallow. Like very, very shallow. I guess that's how it is. Today is hardly fishable. I would have normally considered this as a not fishable day, but it's just weather has not been working with me. Or the pelagics even, so. Oh well. Got him. That doesn't necessarily feel like Opelu unless they're big. It's not huge, but it's not, not little either. to make the best out of a situation that's not great. Um, the fishing is slow. The weather is not permitting me to go very far, so I'm gonna stay within 100 feet, target Uku mostly. Hope for the best. Oh, it's very pretty. Small Uku vibes. <laughs> yeah. Also gutted it really bad so he's coming update um i caught that little tiny uku he is a keeper it's been a rough time for us lately so we're gonna we need some fish for dinner so that's guy keeper uku we're gonna hopefully look for a few more just because it's an inside day completely we've not even decided to go offshore or because it's just too choppy so inshore day we're targeting uku let's see what we can do Try. Oh, he got off right at the end. He's lucky.
Kind of like in a Luku or in a Lua or something. Feels like in a Lua. Honestly, the Lua is way more fun than nothing. like it's head shaking. That'd be weird if it were a kava. shake like this. Uku, uku. No, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure what this is. That's insane! Finally! Yes! <laughs> How in the world did I pull that off? Oh, amazing. It's of course the day that I, I thought, oh, it's gonna be too rough. I'm not gonna bring my GoPro mount thing. Wow. Wow. Gagadi! Kagami! That's a Kagami. Alright. Yeah. Got him. That's insane. Can't, you guys can tell how excited I am. So that's a fish I've been looking for for a long time. Spent a lot of time inshore looking for one. It's an African pompano and Hawaiian is named a Kagami. And uh, I like the other kayak fishermen say like you get one every one, two years. And I just never had one. And I've been fishing like this for four years, really hard for a year and a half. And I uh, just never had the opportunity to get one. Um, so I'm, I'm ecstatic. That was the first one ever. It's a neat, nice one. 
it fought hard it's a really cool fish so i'm excited to uh try to fillet it and learn a little bit about it but super stoked to get a fish uh way happier to get that i'd have taken one of those over 10 hukus because i've caught a lot of hukus love them but kagamis are just not common so i'm just really excited really happy to have gotten that one all right so i'm back um i'm gonna weigh this kagami now I think I might wait and chill it down to clean it tomorrow morning with my uh, roommate when he gets back so I can get some good footage of it. But um, I'm just gonna weigh it now and uh, take another look at it. It's crazy. So yeah, he fills up that fish bag pretty good. Wow, nice. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. All righty, yeah. 22.3 or so. Uh, see ya. This is like literally its twin. Yeah. This is the same size as the one that we caught. Yeah. Yours has a different face though. He's got a derp face. Yeah, he kind of has more of a derp face. <laughs> I don't know why this just looks like more bulbous. Different. Yeah. Yeah, look at his big eyeball though. Like, look how big that thing is. We should bring that in and let Mats eat it or something. Yeah. He was, he was a weird fish. Yeah, sick catch. <laughs> sick catch though. This is all meat right here, it's like a mahi. Uh, yeah, that's what I heard. But it's like, like I heard there's like, this is like a bone plate. Yeah, let's feel that, that's a weird. Oh, look how it's like yeah, twitching the- Yeah, the meat is here. Are you researching about him? Yeah, look at this. See how it's working the fins? This is the meat right here. Oh yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> Emily's the Kagami master, which proportionally she still is. Oh, missed some. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Start getting off that tail part. From all of my research, that's what it said. Is that these guys are just really hard to clean. Not my prettiest. <laughs> well, you can try to trim up some of the uh, insides there. It's actually a decent amount left right here. Maybe Whoa. not. Live. All right, let's see what I can do. Yeah. yeah that's weird. Right? I just hit something. <laughs> it's not an even angle all the way down like most fish. You can't just run it. Okay. All the way up here. That's the hole. Oh, the butthole's up there. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, how wild is that? Yeah, that's weird. Like how would they do a tuna? Mm -hmm. Try. Let's get out of here, buddy. Come with me, <laughs> with me little friend. <laughs> hey, it's off. One, <laughs> be one beautiful loin. Loin. <laughs> now for the ugly duckling. Dude, what if you just went like down? I guess that works. You got it. There's really not much here. No. Oh, you got him now. 
He found it. There you go. Oh. Like, this fish is really firm. Which makes it really good for ceviche like this. Like it would have been fun to make ceviche in Mexico, but mahi's not a ceviche fish. At this point I know what, what it is. 